Do you want to see something cool? Oh, come on. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best voice performances from celebs known for their pop music. <gasps> well, what do we have here? Your old buddy, Mr. Carrot! Number 30, Nicki Minaj, Ice Age Continental Drift, and the Angry Birds movie, too. Yeah, Ethan! You go, boy! <laughs> After rising to prominence in the early aughts, Nicki Minaj has been an unstoppable force. Beyond her accolades and legacy on the music industry, the queen of rap has also dipped her toe into the film industry, with at least two of her roles hailing from behind the mic. As you all know how this works, when you hit this sound, then it's time to move on to the next table where your soulmate just might be waiting. She can be heard in the fourth installment of the Ice Age franchise, alongside fellow rapper Drake, who plays her character's mammoth boyfriend. Gross. It's that weirdo who chills with possum. Oh, what just happened? Years later, in 2019, Minaj would also join the cast of Angry Birds for its sequel movie, where she plays Pinky. Number 29, Janelle Monet, Ugly Dolls. Ugly Dolls has a crazy stacked musical cast. Everyone from Lizzo to Nick Jonas can be heard at some point. If you want someone to love you, baby, gotta look like me. I mean, flawless, pure perfection, up a shelf. But we're going to give credit to Janelle Monet in the prominent role of Mandy. With their silky smooth tones, Monet breeds life into a character that otherwise risks being very two dimensional. You know, as dolls do. Sure, look at me all dolled up, stuck playing a part someone else agreed to. The 10 time Grammy nominee has proven her acting chops in a number of live action roles, but their skill as a singer means she absolutely excels in voiceover, especially when the role requires singing, like Peg in the 2019 Lady and the Tramp. He's a tramp, but we love him. Pulls a new scam every day. In addition to mastering so many different genres, pop, soul, and funk, just to name a few, the artist is also a talented songwriter and rapper. It truly feels like there's nothing she can't do. You need to fight, Moxie. Show them it's our differences that make us shine. Number 28, Jesse McCartney, Tinkerbell Franchise. Following Dream Street Split, Jesse McCartney made it big with his debut album, Beautiful Soul. I don't want another pretty face. I don't want just anyone to hold. As it turns out, the heartthrob is no stranger to voice acting, what with his role as Theodore in the live action Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. Dave? Are you awake? I am now. I had a nightmare. I sleep with you. But since his voice was pitched up, we're giving this entry to his role as Terrence in the Tinkerbell film series. We're not sure how he's managed it, but McCartney's voice has barely changed at all since his boy band days. Forever's a pretty long time, so I hear. Thanks, Terrence. You know my name? Well, sure. Why wouldn't I? Well, I don't know. I'm just a dust keeper guy. It's endearingly boyish, but still strong and sure, which also makes him perfect for roles like Nightwing in Young Justice. Number 27, Alessia Cara, The Willoughbys. Yeah. Singing! We are getting rid of it at once! This Canadian singer was put on the map after the mega success of her single, Scars to Your Beautiful. With several Junos and a plethora of other awards and nominations under her belt, Cara has certainly carved out her place in the pop scene. The light is shining. Deeper than the eyes can find it, maybe we are made of black. In 2020, she starred in Netflix's The Willoughbys as the middle child in a group of siblings trying to replace their parents. Her character Jane loves to sing. Which means, in addition to hearing Kara try her hand at voice acting, we also got a brand new original song to fall in love with. Through the lows and the highs, I will stay by your side. Number 26, Christina Aguilera, The Emoji Movie. Welcome to Just Dance! The voice of a generation becomes the dancer of a generation in this movie. Christina Aguilera plays a Just Dance character who's a stepping stone on the protagonist's journey forward through the apps. She has exactly the sort of high-energy personality you'd expect, and Christina Aguilera delivers it all beautifully. Are you ready to dance? The first song the emojis dance to is your typical Just Dance number, but it's quickly followed by what else except Aguilera's own Feel This Moment. <laughs> You're killing it, Jane! Play! 
It's a sweet way to honor the artist and give her an extra thank you, while also serving as a hint to viewers who may not have made the connection right away. Number 25. Mariah Carey, The Lego Batman Movie Mariah Carey as the mayor of Gotham City was not on our 2017 bingo card. It's kind of freaky how well her voice fits the role, and her delivery is even more on point. We've gathered here tonight to mark the retirement of Jim Gordon. Goodbye. And we wish him well on his South African jungle safari! While the cameo part doesn't get a ton of space to shine, there are some great sequences involving the character, and they're only made better by Carrie's booming performance. This is someone who knows how to project, after all. Today is a victory for the citizens of Gotham City. While the legendary artist lent her voice to another animation that same year, we wouldn't say no to some more Mariah Carey VO down the line. Jim, did you find Batman? No, ma'am. Then we have no choice. The Joker has the upper hand. We have to surrender Gotham City. Number 24, Pharrell Williams, The Grinch, and Sing 2. Pharrell Williams has been working on animated projects since 2010, when he composed the themes for Despicable Me. It was his work on the sequel that really made him a household name, specifically his original song, Happy. Clap alone if you feel like that's what you want to do. Since then, Williams has contributed his composing talents to a few other big names, and lent his voice to two in particular. In 2018's The Grinch, he can be heard as the narrator, a feat that elevates the movie wonderfully. Yes, The Grinch hated Christmas. The whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. And in Sing 2, he plays an elephant named Alfonso, who, of course, gets to show off his musical prowess. Number 23, Nicole Scherzinger, Moana. Being born in Hawaii, Nicole Scherzinger quickly took interest in the new Polynesian princess at the time, saying that she wanted to be part of the project whether through music or something else. We bet the crew was more than ecstatic to have her on board because she absolutely nailed the role of Moana's mom. You are the next great chief of our people. <laughs> and you'll do wondrous things, my little minnow. As a member of the Pussycat Dolls, Scherzinger knows a thing or two about ensemble numbers, which is more than apparent when you hear how fantastic she is in the village song Where You Are. It's part of the coconut, that's all we need. We make our nets from the fibers, the water is sweet and waters. Plus, she also manages to give off totally comforting mom vibes with her speaking lines. He's hard on you because... Because he doesn't get me. Because he was you. Number 22, Pink, Happy Feet 2. I'm never gonna not dance again. Was the inspiration for Never Gonna Not Dance Again her character in Happy Feet, we wonder? After Brittany Murphy's passing, Pink was brought in as Gloria's new voice. Both women have a touch of vocal fry, which makes their timbers quite distinct and also made the swap more seamless than it otherwise could have been. Don't forget. Pink, of course, nails every song, but she also surprised us by acing the dialogue, too. She brings all of Gloria's strength, patience, and calm to the surface through every line reading, and also manages to effortlessly adapt the character into her new role as a mother. Sweetie, take a step back. Close your eyes. Deep breath. Number 21, Haley Steinfeld, Spider-Verse Franchise. Haley Steinfeld has a handful of pop hits that found huge commercial and airplay success, including Love Myself and Starving. While she's also made a name for herself in live-action projects, Steinfeld's foray into the world of voice acting has also been fruitful. I like your haircut. You don't get to like my haircut. She had big shoes to fill when it came to portraying Gwen Stacy, but fortunately, Steinfeld pulls her off flawlessly. Her voice is at home in Gwen's protective, resilient nature, with the actress affording the character just the perfect amount of hilarious awkwardness. Maybe I'm not late. Maybe you guys are early. <laughs> Sorry, it was just so quiet. She has a tough outer shell with a gooey center, something Steinfeld seems to keep in mind with every inflection of Gwen's voice. Number 20, Halsey. Teen Titans Go to the Movies 
Despite a lack of film credits to her name, this Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter still managed to land one of the most iconic roles in pop culture history, Wonder Woman. Oops, my bad. Halsey voiced the DC heroine in Teen Titans Go! to the movies, which expanded upon the hugely successful Teen Titans Go! TV series. Numerous A-list celebrities joined the ranks of the show's regulars, including Nicolas Cage, Kristen Bell, and Michael Bolton, and they helped to turn the film into a critical and commercial success. Halsey's role in the film was a relatively small one, but the fact that she got to play Wonder Woman no doubt allowed her to check off a box on her bucket list. Number 19. Will I Am – Madagascar Escape to Africa Will I Am has lent his voice to a number of animated films and TV shows over the years. However, for this list, we're gonna go with his performance in Madagascar Escape to Africa. Okay, nice girl. You huge. The Black Eyed Peas frontman plays Moto Moto, a smooth-talking hippopotamus that all the female hippos can't seem to get enough of. Naturally, Gloria soon finds herself falling for Moto Moto's charms, and the two even go on a date at one point. I don't know, I have so many questions. Well, I promise the answer will always be yes, unless no is required. Will I Am stated that he used his, quote, deep, dark chocolate voice for the character, something he describes as being like, quote, very white but cooler. We're hard pressed to disagree with him on that one. It won't be hard because you so plump and Number 18, Kelly Clarkson, Trolls World Tour. The sequel to the 2016 smash hit Trolls, starring Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick, Trolls World Tour was one of the many films affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Released online in April 2020, the film picks up where its predecessor left off, with new queen Poppy setting off on a quest to unite the six troll kingdoms. During a visit to the country kingdom, she and Branch encounter Delta Dawn, mayor of the country trolls. Voiced by Kelly Clarkson, Delta Dawn is a no-nonsense leader who isn't afraid to lay down the law. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go wash what you call music out of my ears. Of course, she also has a fantastic set of pipes worthy of Troll Idol. All these tears are from the dust in our eyes. Clarkson's joined by a slew of other top-notch musicians in the film, making Trolls World Tour a must-see for all music lovers. Number 17, Jessie J, Ice Age Collision Course. English singer Jessie J is better known for her chart-topping songs than she is for her voice work. Perhaps that's why she decided to lend her voice to the fifth installment in the Ice Age franchise, resume diversification. Ice Age Collision Course sees Jessie J voicing a sloth by the name of Brooke, who naturally catches the eye of Sid. Ooh, such exquisite bone structure, such a strong jaw. Brooke proves an important ally to Manny, Sid, and the gang, helping them with their plan to save the Earth from an incoming asteroid. In comparison to the other films in the series, Collision Course wasn't exactly a home run. Still, it gave Jessie J a chance to prove she's more than a one-trick pony. More sloth. Number 16, Shawn Mendes, Underdogs. Arguably the strangest entry on our list, Shawn Mendes lent his voice to the American dub of this Argentinian animated film from 2013. Titled Mete Gol in Argentina, which translates to foosball, the film was renamed and redubbed for American audiences, with celebs like Ariana Grande, Nicholas Holt, and Katie Holmes providing voice work. Mendes, who was just 15 years old at the time, voiced Jake a foosball player in love with a girl named Laura. The film was a hit in Argentina, but the American version, which was released direct-to-video three years later, was seen as a failure. Seeing as how Underdogs is the only film Mendez has appeared in, we wonder if the experience was a positive one for the artist. Baby, there's nothing holding me back. Number 15, Bruno Mars, Rio 2. Look at us shining. The sequel to 2011's Rio, Rio 2 complemented its already stellar voice cast with a host of new and talented performers, I'll be the first to sing welcome back. Leading this new batch of celebrities was Bruno Mars, along with Andy Garcia, Amanda Stenberg, and Janelle Monet. Mars played Roberto, a childhood friend of the Anne Hathaway voiced character Jewel, 
who much like his real life counterpart, is blessed with an incredible vocal range. When we were kids, we always had the cutest nicknames for each other. We did, I called him Beto. <laughs> That's adorable. Despite a dip in ratings, the sequel managed to rake in even more than its predecessor, leading to discussions about a possible third installment in the franchise. Whether or not Mars will return remains to be seen. It's just something I put together last minute with my own two wings, of course, and my strength and my brawn. Number 14, Avril Lavigne, Over the Hedge. We ate all the food, Hammy, during the winter, so we gotta go get some more now. Canadian singer Avril Lavigne isn't known for her acting. In fact, prior to Over the Hedge, she had only appeared in two films, one of which was a cameo. However, Levine did an excellent job in her portrayal of Heather, a Virginia opossum who loves to bicker with her overbearing father, Ozzy. Levine remarked that director Tim Johnson and screenwriter Carrie Kirkpatrick were instrumental in making her first voice acting gig a successful one, stating, quote, "...they made it go so smoothly. They made me feel comfortable." Avril Levine wouldn't lend her voice to another animated film until 2018's Charming, opposite Demi Lovato. But we'll get to her in a bit. And your mirror will tell you. He'll tell you right to your face. <laughs> Number 13, Tori Kelly, Sing. This Grammy winner lent her pipes to this 2016 animated film, which also starred the likes of Matthew McConaughey, Reese Witherspoon, and Scarlett Johansson. Don't you worry about a thing. The star-studded cast no doubt played a part in the film grossing an eye-popping $634.2 million at the box office. This was Tori Kelly's first taste of film success, followed by the successful 2021 sequel movie. Kelly stars in the role of Mina, an elephant who works to overcome her stage fright and eventually puts on the performance of a lifetime. You check it out. They say your style of a drag. In Sing 2, we get to watch her fall in love. We're sure the actress had a lot of fun with both storylines, and with the adorable character as a whole. The moment I wake up, before I put on my makeup, I say a little prayer for you. Number 12, Sia, My Little Pony, The Movie. Based on the TV series My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, my Little Pony the movie follows Twilight Sparkle and the main six as they attempt to save Equestria from the evil Storm King. Sia's role in the film is a relatively small one, but that didn't stop the animators from using her likeness when creating her character. Sia voices Songbird Serenade, a pop star who visits Equestria. In addition to her voice work, Sia also contributed to the soundtrack, coming up with Rainbow an original track that was later released as a single. Both the song and Sia's voice acting work were well received, and she's since gone on to lend her voice to a number of other animated films. Number 11, Taylor Swift, The Lorax. Based on the Dr. Seuss novel of the same name, The Lorax stars Danny DeVito, Ed Helms, Zac Efron, and Taylor Swift. The latter was definitely the outlier, as all three male leads had extensive acting experience under their belts prior to signing on. Swift, on the other hand, had just one acting credit to her name when she agreed to appear in the Lorax, excluding cameos, that is. And yet, she gave an excellent performance as Audrey, the love interest to Zac Efron's Ted. Well, I'd love to tell you, but sadly, according to the Universal Wish Laws, I cannot. Somewhat surprisingly, Swift didn't contribute to the film soundtrack, and although she still acts, she has yet to appear in any other animated films. Number 10, Demi Lovato, Smurfs, The Lost Village. We told you Demi Lovato would be back. It's about the only girl in our village, Smurfette. Hi, Laundry Smurf. Howdy do, Smurfette. Hey, guys. This singer and actress is no stranger to Hollywood, having appeared in a number of films and TV shows. As such, it was hardly surprising when she landed the lead role in 2017 Smurfs The Lost Village. Lovato plays Smurfette, a female Smurf who rebels against her creator in order to embark on a journey of self-discovery. Lovato's voice fits the character perfectly, and she even gets to show off her impressive pipes at one point in the film. The experience was clearly a positive one, as Lovato would go on, as mentioned, to lend her iconic voice to 2018's Charming, another animated flick. Oh. 
You're right, this is awkward because I assume that you picked up on it already. I don't care. Number nine, Katy Perry, the Smurfs and the Smurfs 2. Hey guys, how do you like my new dress? <laughs> Whoa, is there a draft in here? And before Demi, there was Katie. Based on the iconic comic book series of the same name, of which there have been countless adaptations, the Smurfs and its sequel took everyone's favorite little blue creatures on adventures to New York City and Paris. A mixture of live action and animation, the original film brought together a slew of incredibly talented celebrities, led by Katy Perry's Smurfette. Papa, every year on my birthday, I have these horrible dreams about where I come from. According to the 13-time Grammy nominee, the producers had been doing blind tests to see which voices worked best for Smurfette, and selected her voice without even knowing who it was. Papa never gave up on me, so I'm not about to give up on them. Imagine their surprise when they found out the voice belonged to one of the biggest pop stars on the planet. Number 8. Rihanna Home. Home is about a girl named Tip who goes on the run after Earth is invaded by an alien race known as the Boove. Rihanna headlines the film alongside perennial funny man Jim Parsons. The two make for an unlikely team, but their on screen chemistry, or on microphone chemistry, is top notch. Shake your boob thing! My hands are in the air like I just do not care! Despite mixed reviews from critics, the film still managed to pull in just under $400 million at the box office, and later spawned the Netflix animated series Home, Adventures with Tip and O. Unfortunately, neither Rihanna nor Parsons reprised their roles. I know what you are. Oh, excellent! Can I come into the out now? No! Number 7. Jennifer Lopez, Ice Age Franchise Just to be clear, that's a pumpkin, right? When it comes to all-star voice casts, you'd be hard-pressed to find one better than this. Ice Age Continental Drift brought back fan favorites Ray Romano, Queen Latifah and John Leguizamo, and complimented them with a host of new voices that included Drake, Aziz Ansari, Rebel Wilson, Peter Dinklage, and oh yeah, Jenny from The Block. The chart-topping singer and actress played Shira a now extinct mammal known as a Smilodon, who falls head over paws for Dennis Leary's Diego. Lopez would not only appear in the film's sequel, she'd also nab a role in Home alongside Rihanna. I was so scared we'd never see each other again. It seems her voice acting talents are in high demand. Number 6. Miley Cyrus, Bolt You saved me again, Bolt. Despite being in the middle of her Hannah Montana years and fresh off the release of her sophomore album Breakout, Miley Cyrus somehow found time to appear in this Disney flick. Bolt is about a dog who is the star of a TV series, only he doesn't realize it's just a show and not real life. That's a keeper! <laughs> you wanna go play outside? He accidentally gets shipped across the country, from Hollywood to New York, and then embarks on an adventure to return and save his owner. I'll release you, cat, when we find Penny. The film picked up a slew of nominations, including one at the 81st Academy Awards for Best Animated Feature, but was constantly bested by another Disney flick, Pixar's WALL-E. Oh, Number 5. Justin Timberlake, Trolls Franchise Justin Timberlake is no stranger to the world of animated movies. Having appeared in Shrek the Third and Yogi Bear. Um, you're standing on the soldering iron. Or it's that! Ooh. However, one could argue that his turn in Trolls is his best voice acting performance to date. The Birkins are coming! Ah! The Birkins are coming! Ah! The Birkins are coming! Ah! The first film is about a couple of trolls, played by Timberlake and Anna Kendrick, who must team up in order to save their race from a group of troll-eating monsters called the Bergens. Why don't you try scrapbooking them to freedom? Solid burn, Branch. An enthralling musical with no shortage of over-the-top performances, Trolls earned Justin Timberlake Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations for his song Can't Stop the Feeling, as well as a Grammy win, and it's guaranteed to put a smile on your face. I got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet, I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. And eventually, of course, came the sequels. Number 4. Shakira, Zootopia I'm on tonight and my hips don't lie and I'm starting to feel it's right. Yep, even the woman with the most honest hips in the music industry has tested the waters with voice acting. 
As the title implies, Zootopia is about a world in which anthropomorphic animals run the show. I'm Gazelle. Welcome to Zootopia. Despite only appearing in the small role of Gazelle, the fictional world's biggest pop star, Shakira must have been pretty happy to have her name in the credits, as Zootopia wound up being the fourth highest grossing film of the year. Are you familiar with Gazelle, greatest singer of our lifetime, Angel with Horns? <laughs> okay, hold on, keep watching. Who's that beside her? Who is it? Wow, you are one hot dancer, Benjamin Clawhauser. <laughs> Not only did it rake in more than a billion dollars at the box office, but it also nabbed the award for Best Animated Feature at the Oscars and the Golden Globes. Well played, Shakira. Well played. I messed up tonight. I lost the not a fight. I still mess up, but I'll just start again. Number 3. Beyonce. Epic. It's alright. Relax, it's just me. Beyonce's film roles have been few and far between, so you can imagine how pumped we were when we found out she'd be appearing in an animated movie, her first, alongside the likes of Colin Farrell, Amanda Seyfried, and Christoph Waltz. This is it. This is the one. Hit me like a ray of the film is about a teenage girl who finds herself transported to a magical forest, where she is thrust into a battle between good and evil. Beyonce plays Queen Tara, the forest's queen, who is searching for an heir to her throne. It's about the feeling. I get it from the pods. I get it from the forest. I get it from all of us. Despite being one of the film's smaller roles, Beyonce straight up kills it, which made her appearance in Disney's later Lion King remake all the more exciting. Number 2. Selena Gomez, Hotel Transylvania Franchise but maybe wavy, it's not safe, blah, blah, blah. Now here's a singing star who's always had the acting chops, and who shines as a voice actress too. After his wife is killed by a mob of angry humans, Count Dracula opens the world's first hotel for monsters in Transylvania. But when a human boy accidentally discovers the hotel, it's up to Dracula to keep him away from his teenage daughter, Mavis. Dad? Yeah, I know, Dracula's daughter. Everyone freaks out at first. Dracula? Okay, we gotta go. A wacky comedic romp filled with hilarious voice performances from Adam Sandler, Andy Samberg, and Selena Gomez as Mavis, Hotel Transylvania and its two sequels were a big-time hit with moviegoers. It comes in 48 flavors! We have to try them all! Gomez shines despite being surrounded by a plethora of uber-talented voice actors, making it abundantly clear that singing is not her only strong suit. You're stressed out from working too hard. You need a vacation from running everyone else's vacation. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mandy Moore, Tangled <laughs> Best day ever! Whoever was in charge of casting for this film, we salute you. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. Tangled stars Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi in a retelling of the classic fairy tale Rapunzel. Produced by Disney, the film was a massive critical and commercial success, taking home just under $600 million at the box office en route to an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Song and a Golden Globe nomination for Best Animated Feature. Moore's performance was a big reason for the film's success, and the singer-slash-actress claimed that by playing a Disney princess, she had achieved her ultimate childhood dream. I've got a dream! Which celeb do you think gave the best performance? Let us know in the comments. Seeing you again? You don't know what this will mean to everyone. What this means to me. You have to come home. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.